going on guys welcome back to my channel today i just want to go over all of the modifications that i've done so far to our subaru cross track please ignore how dirty the car is uh, i've just been snowing here and there in virginia so i have not been motivated to wash this thing because it gets super salty immediately first things first is the lift kit you might notice that the car sits about two inches higher at least using an SST uh, two inch lift kit by Ready Lift. Lift kit essentially just bolts on top of the factory strut mounts, front and rear. So essentially the ride stays almost like factory. Wheel alignment is really important to make sure that the car is handling properly and so that you don't tear up your tires prematurely. Here's what she looks like. Definitely leaves a lot of room for a bigger wheel and tire setup, which is coming up soon. Second favorite mod that I've done so far are the bigger wheels and tires. These are the Toyo Open Country AT3s, size 235, 75, 15, and they are mounted on a set of F44 CM102 wheels. Main reason why I wanted to go with this larger tire setup is to get additional lift or clearance under the car. The factory tire size that came with the Crosstrek Limited is 225, 55, 18, which have an overall diameter of 27.6 inch. And these 235, 75, 15s have an overall diameter of 28.9 inches. So I actually got an additional 0 0.6, 0 0.7 inch of uh, overall clearance added under the car. It does rub a very, very slight amount just over here. So keep that in mind if you are gonna go 235. Uh, if you don't want any rubbing whatsoever, I would suggest going with a 225, 75. My third favorite modification is this roof rack. Uh, it's actually just a Harbor Freight one mounted on a set of uh, factory Subaru cross rails. Here's the part number, pause it if you need it. And for the basket we're using Hallmaster, here's the part number, pause it if you need it. important thing is to get the rails lined up perfectly left and right and then properly fully secure the clamps in place and then you can slide around the basket and fine-tune it just to make sure everything is perfectly centered. This roof rack is actually extremely useful for whenever we take this car camping. We keep the chairs, the tent, some tarps in the basket so we have more room inside the vehicle. The fourth favorite mod that I've done so far is this primitive racing skid plate. It's actually very, very heavy duty. So I have no doubt that this is gonna be well protected on the trails. I don't have to worry about my oil pan getting pierced by a rock. From factory, this is the flimsy plastic that you have to protect the bottom of your engine against rocks on the trail. modification that we did is the uh, reflector covers I uh, got actually got those on Etsy I just did not like how red the reflectors were um, without the vinyl cover it was just simply too much at night Next modification that I did is the D-badge. Uh, if, if you notice, there's actually zero badges, no Subaru, no Crosstrek, 
or anything on the hatch. I think it just looks a lot cleaner that way. Gently pry off the emblems with the plastic pry tool, being careful not to leave any marks or scratches on the surface. Lightly heat the adhesive to soften it, then roll your thumb from one side to the other to peel it off the surface. There will be residual ad adhesive left over, so spray goo gone over the areas and work the residue off with your fingernails. The final step is to apply wax to the paint surface and hand polish the area with a microfiber towel. The seventh modification that I did is this tow hitch kit. The tow hitch is by Kurt and it's rated for 3,500 pounds, though the cross track should not be pulling anything more than 15, 1,600 pounds. Um, this is gonna be very useful for whenever I wanna tow our um, future jet ski. And I also like the fact that it has something protruding. I added this. This tow hook protrudes just a few inches from the rear bumper. I like having it there so when we're parallel parked in the city uh, and it's like someone's parking behind us, I don't have to worry about them clipping the rear bumper. Though, unfortunately our recent trip in Kansas City, someone still managed to hit the rear bumper, unfortunately, but some things you can't avoid. Modification that I absolutely love is the pod lights that I mounted on the hood. I mounted them on the hood hinges using the LP Aventure uh, hood light brackets. And as far as the lights and brackets, this is how it should look like assembled. Uh, this will just bolt right under the hood hinge. I like to wrap electrical tape all around the wire connectors and the exposed wiring to protect it from the elements and look clean. Now comes the most frustrating part of this install, which is fishing the switch harness through the firewall. I ended up piercing a hole through the inside of the boot with a screwdriver. Be very careful not to damage any of the wiring harness in this area. You can pretty much mount the relay anywhere, but I chose to put it near the fuse panel. It's good practice to disconnect the negative battery terminal whenever doing any wiring related service. The ninth modification that I absolutely love are these yellow fog lights. Um, I had a bulb go out on this thing a couple months ago, so I just replaced them with some of these sea light LED. They're supposed to be 4,000 lumens. Plop it inwards and turn clockwise. It is super yellow. Also super bright versus the stock one. First modification that I did to this car is the Rally Armor mud flaps. have them on the back so I did have an issue with the front ones they were slightly scrubbing against the outer portion of the tire whenever I turned so unfortunately I am gonna have to mod that more those are all the modifications that I've done so far to our Subaru Crosstrek I will leave links in the description for where you can get all the items that I've installed so far if you are interested I do have a lot more things planned for this thing such as an exhaust system a skid plate kit for the differential, the transmission, an air oil separator, and a couple more things. So if you are interested in keeping up with this Crosstrek build, consider subscribing to my channel. But for today, this is going to be it.
I'll see you in the next one.